Oh. Well, um, here we are. We're back uh, at the pro at the uh, rescue house. In our last video, we talked about what we were going to be doing to keep the moisture or water from migrating from the outside to the inside. And we now this week we've come in. We've removed the hearth. Uh, and we're very fortunate that we did that because you can see this plug connected to Romex. Um, that was literally sitting in there just the way it is right now. It was not sticking out of the wall. It wasn't installed properly. It was just laid up in there. There was a cord. Monty, grab that cord off that top shelf in here that white on your right on your right that white so this cord right here was plugged into that outlet and it was sticking out I guess I think it goes to the low voltage lighting but this was that contractor solution instead of properly wiring this thing in. That was buried behind the hearth. So if anything had ever happened, if they had any kind of a problem, they never would have been able to get to the outlet. And because it was literally plugged in, it was literally plugged into that and laid up just like this and sticking out of the the hole in the wall. It was really bizarre. So you can see why I had such a problem with the hearth. Because if, when you look at the previous video, the hearth, the hearth came up to the bottom of this. Look how much higher that is than the bottom of the fireplace. Also, there's a huge gap under the sheetrock, so when we have to, we pour our concrete in here, that would have been a big problem. We're in there right now blocking that up. Okay, so. And we talked about what we were going to do on the outside. And what we've done is we bought this incredible sealer. Monty and Brenda are putting it on. And it's great stuff. It's fantastic. It's self-leveling. And we're filling this crack. right down here that we showed in the last video. So we're going up against the plate and we're filling that and then we're just just filling up that crack underneath the uh, the plate line. And you can see it goes on. It's real heavy. It's really hard for her to squeeze that handle because this stuff is tough, isn't it? <laughs> but you can see what a great uh, layer of sealant it's putting on here. So this is our phase one of our sealing plan. So our next part of this is going to be adding the um, red guard that's going to go on the wall and the floor. So stay tuned and we'll be back for the next phase of the rescue house.